If you think sloths are nature's biggest screw-ups, wait until you see the animal that feels like it was designed on a Friday at 4.59 p.m. The panda. Pandas aren't just bad at surviving, they're professionally terrible at it. The females only ovulate two days a year. Miss that window, and it's see you next year, good luck. And the males? They're so confused about mating that zookeepers literally play them panda adult tutorials so they can figure out where the USB goes. Even when they do try, the sperm quality is, let's just say nature unplugged the router halfway through. Then there's their diet. They were built like predators. Strong jaws, claws, big carnivore body. And they said, nah, hunting's hard. And switched to eating 40 pounds of bamboo a day just to not pass out. But here's where the design truly collapses. A 220 pound panda gives birth to a 3.5 ounce baby. That's like a 110 pound human giving birth to a USB flash drive. And when twins are born, mom picks one and abandons the other because bamboo doesn't give enough nutrients for two. And because pandas waddle around like drunk toddlers, they trip, roll, slip, fall. Some even crush their own cubs by accident. The only reason pandas are still here is because humans treat them like a full-time group project nobody can afford to fail.